Let me give you an example of the subtle, how subtle it is, the subtle difference between knowing the truth and not knowing the truth. It is like a sliver. It is like if you take this whole galaxy, let's put it into a physical perspective. You could take this whole galaxy. Now, I want you to realize the size of the galaxy in your mind. Yeah? The size of the planets, the sun, the earth. And if you take the, the most tiniest of slither, cut through the whole of all this, the finest, so that it's so, so transparent. It is so fragile. That is the truth. See? Either side will give you versions of truth. And there is you. You see, I remember this very, very early on during a very, very intense awakening. Very intense where everything, everything disappeared for months. There was a participation in this world, but there was no, no person. Simple bliss, simple, phenomenal, constant, heightened awareness. And You see, I forgot. Mind, mind was not present there, you see. Mind was not present at this period of delusional state. So it's, it cannot go there when you try and take it with you. It cannot go there and be there and see because it was not present at that moment. Too much of a shock for mind. But this slither at either side I wrote this and I found this that I have not shared, you see, I've not I I will I have not ref at this point written books. Although there are thousands and thousands of, of worlds that have appeared that the person cannot remember, because I'm now a person again, kind of. You cannot remember, because it's so, so happy to be destroyed to be replaced by this heightened bliss. So, these words were written. And it's very simple. You have you, the body. You have you, the body. Now this body that you are is standing and it looks outwards. And it can turn around and look in all directions. And around it is this world. But if this body had no information, if this body was alone in this world with no other bodies, this body would have no information about what it is until it saw itself. You get this? 
this body has to see a reflection of what it is, whether it's in a, a lake, in a mirror, in some sort of, or another body to explain or describe what it is. But this body is alone, you see. I want you to imagine being the only body, the first body on this planet. How, without your mind right now, throw your mind away, because you've seen yourself, you know you're a body, you know you're a name, you know you're in the mirror, you know what, it, what experiences you've had. So the first time you're in this body, and you have no idea what you look like. You have no idea what you look like. Yeah? So this body needs something to understand what it is, who it is, and why it's there. So it needs something to explain to this body what it is, who it is, and why it's there. Now this body, if, it's a, if it can see, smell, touch, hear, it will understand on its own. It needs no other body. It needs no other body to explain this to it. Firstly, it needs to see a reflection of what it is, to understand what it is, to smell itself, to taste itself, to see itself, to hear itself, so that it, it knows what it is. Here he is, you see? Here, yeah, here, you, here you are. You're looking at yourself. But what is in between for this to happen? Before you can see yourself as a body, you need a mirror to see. You need some sounds to hear. You need tastes so that you can experience flavors. You need to be able to touch yourself. So therefore, gone, you have hands. I can touch myself. I have a voice. I have lungs. I can shout. Oh, wow. I can hear myself. You have skin. You have hair. I can smell myself. You have a tongue. You have a tongue. I can taste myself. But I cannot see myself. The eyes are the clue, you see. How can I see myself? The eyes cannot see itself. mirror, reflection. Something created this reflection, the mirror. Inward breath, outward breath, in between state, in between breath. You, the true you, the reflective you, the body. But you cannot see that without something that creates that. Consciousness is the middle. Mother, father, or father, mother are one. Father, mother are one. Looking at father, mother as one through consciousness is the mirror. The truth is not the one looking, yourself, the true self, not the one seen, your body self, the reflective you that has been made real or apparently real so you can see you. The truth is the mirror.
consciousness but without you consciousness means nothing it is nothing to show you without consciousness it cannot create a reflection of you to see you you cannot see anything without consciousness to see you the reflection your body and mind that you are now is useless without you the original you and consciousness that gave both of you life do you understand this when mind is present something witnesses mind when mind is not present something witnesses I had no mind when happiness comes something witnesses I was happy when unhappiness comes something witnesses I was unhappy without happiness without unhappiness and without the witness this triangle of events none of this is happening when happiness goes when the triangle unhappiness goes the witness must go but the whole three go together you see so whatever your life is right now forget your name and your titles and your deeds and your materialistic things and your goals and your ambitions and your beliefs and your hopes and your religion and your 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 your, your employment history your cv forget all that you see what remains here now is a you that sees a body and a mind through a consciousness mirror world and when all of this goes the body goes you and the mind and the body and the consciousness go together you cannot be separate it's fresh it's new every baby that is born has lived before every baby that is born is an original state stateless state and the baby state made by a revel revelation revealing consciousness mirror consciousness is when the two fingers in the michelangelo painting of father and son touch the space in between is consciousness you are not the body you're not the soul or the spirit you are the truth and that is that